How to download and install the Arduino Software IDE on Pop! OS Linux. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to install the Arduino IDE on Pop. Okay, here's my Pop installation here. I'm going to go to the Arduino... Here's the start page here, Arduino CC. <coughs> okay, click on the software tab here. Scroll down. More than likely, you're going to want to go 64 bits. That's what I have, Linux 64. So we'll choose that. Click on that. I don't want to contribute at this point. I just want to download only. So we download the tar file. Can X that out. Wait for the download to complete. You can see it's a tar file. So I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to make an Arduino folder in the home directory and then once this completes downloading I'm going to go ahead and extract this compressed archive out. I'm going to extract the contents out to that uh, Arduino folder and then we can proceed with the installation from that point. Okay, uh, 20 more seconds to go. Bear with me here. You can see the version is one point. 1.8.19 that's the most current version of the Arduino IDE okay okay we're, we're okay that's been downloaded okay so we're done with the uh, the browser Cl minimize that go to the terminal now like I said I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and make a a folder here I'll call it Arduino you can call it whatever you want and we're, I'm going to extract the the, uh, the compressed archives to this folder later. Okay, so that's done. So we'll clear that. Okay, I just want to show you. Here it is, right here, Arduino. That's what I, that's what I just created right now. Okay. In the home. So we're going to clear that. We're going to CD into the download folder. Clear that. We're going to spot the the file the tar file I just downloaded right here at the very top okay so we're gonna un we're gonna un archive this and and decompress this okay so we'll clear that we'll do a sudo a tar the exit for extract verbose just so that it reads back it echoes back onto the terminal screen what it's doing in the file the F is uh, it'll accept it's waiting for a file to be passed to it and that file would be this file here that we downloaded. Now I want to change the direction. When I extract it, I want to change the output to that file, to that folder that I had created on the home direct in the home directory root. Okay? So we're gonna pass the tar file in here with some flags and what to do on it to the tar command in a pseudo session and it's going to redirect the output contents once everything is extracted expanded it's going to put it right into this Arduino folder that we created and this is the V right this is the V flag right here showing what it's doing if you didn't put the V flag in there you wouldn't see all this stuff it's good to put the V flag that way you know you can see it's working you know it's doing something okay so that's good can clear that go back go back to the root go back to the home clear that okay there's the Arduino folder here right okay we're gonna CD into that we're gonna clear that CD into the Arduino folder okay do an LSA and look at the contents now there's another subfolder in here So the, the first Arduino folder is the one I created, and this Arduino folder is the one that came with the archive. Okay, now we're in the real meat of the now we're in the into the meat of the uh, the archive the the, the uh, you know the, the the file here. There we go. There's all the here's all the uh, fo folders files that we're going to be working with. Now I'm going to choose. I'm going to look for a 
I'm going to look for a, a shell script called install.sh. Here it is right here. Now a couple things to check before you just execute it. Let's um just to, just for fun, we'll see what kind it is. It's a shell script. Okay, we know that because of dot sh. So, okay, it's a shell script file. Okay, good. And you can check a couple permissions and ownerships real quick, just to make sure. So we'll do ls dash l on that file. And as you can see, I'm Paul, and I'm I'm the I'm the owner, and the Paul group is the owner here. So user group on this file and you can see I have enough to run it I have RWX here RX and RX so I can still run it no matter what I just couldn't write to it or change it so I could I could execute it with the permissions and the and the uh, the ownership as it exists right now so we're gonna pass that we're going to pass that install sh that bash shell install script to the to the shell to the bash shell interpreter and it'll run the uh, program it'll run the install script and once that's done then we should hopefully find it in I don't know if it's going to give me a desktop shortcut because there's no desktop in gnome so I would hopefully I would be expecting to find it in the application folder Okay, done. Okay, we'll minimize that. So it said it was going to put on desktop. There's no desktop icons in GNOME, pretty much. So I would look for it here in the application folder. So we'll pop that open. Scroll up to the to the A's, and we'll look for it. Okay, here it is, right here. A uh, single click on that, pop that open, and there it is. And it's, it's starting. Now it's been a while since I. I do have an Arduino board. I have a Pi. It's been a, a number of years since I really did anything with it, so I forgot about the, uh, you know, how to actually, you know, go forward. I forgot exactly how to to upload the sketch or whatever. But as you can see, it's installed, and it's installed from the tar file from the Arduino website. Didn't do it from the flat pack or from the pop shop or from the APT or or whatever. Went right to the source, right to the Arduino right to the Arduino uh, page here okay so and then you can go ahead and verify the version 1.819 okay that's yeah that's great this is what we this is what we we're looking to install and that's what's been installed okay so install install that and then try to work with it and see what happens and if you have any problems uh, go ahead and post that in the uh, in the group and we'll take it from there but for now Get to this point here, and then we'll we'll take it from there. And he, you know, there's other like maintenance things to do, updates and whatnot. But first, get to this point right here, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, thank you.